Well, Bakersfield plans to celebrate Juneteenth this weekend. 17's Amber Frias joins us now with more on the holiday and how it is celebrated in our community. Amber? Juneteenth has always been a day of remembrance for African Americans. But this year's celebration could be the biggest one yet in Bakersfield and around the country. Today marks 155 years since Union General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to deliver the news that Texas was once again under Union control and that all slaves must be freed. People must understand that uh, slavery was abolished two years prior to that and Texas didn't know about it because they're the southernmost state. Danny Morrison, media personality, has been organizing discussions on the significance of Juneteenth. The slaves in Texas had no idea, so they finally found out two and a half years later. That moment on June 19th, 1865, is remembered as the true end of slavery. <laughs> This year, following nationwide protests marked by the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery, more attention is turning to the holiday. It's about time. I'll take any catalyst necessary to have people pay attention to the plight of my people. Large companies like Nike, Twitter, and Uber have made it a paid holiday. Slavery is um, the worst thing that has ever happened in this country. Basically, call it our original sin. And we're starting to unravel the pain in this country. And if making Juneteenth a national holiday helps my people once again uh, start to get rid of some of that pain, I'm all for it. Here at home, Mayor Karen Go signed a proclamation this morning recognizing Juneteenth as a city holiday. In partnership with Morrison, Bakersfield College has held a series of Juneteenth conversations called Light a Candle over a two-week period. Through those conversations and dialogue, you begin to gain an understanding of what can be done to address issues that have plagued our communities for so many years. A final conversation will be held virtually tonight at 7 p.m. and includes Bakersfield College President Sonia Christian, Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry, and District Attorney Cynthia Simmer. There's a lot of pain associated with my people. We're talking 400 plus years of pain. But I think tonight you will understand us more and you'll understand Juneteenth more as well. You can watch tonight's Juneteenth celebration live on Bakersfield College's Facebook page. It's happening from 7 to 9 p.m. Amber Frias, 17 News.